Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today we have another nice exponential equation on the board. The question is 8x equal to 2 to the power of 2x. What that will be the possible value of x? Now, um, whenever you have a challenge of this kind where you have the variable at the base and also appear as the exponent. What do you do? I tried using a different method to solve this, but I had issues because it can be expressed as two to the power of three. So I tried dividing through by eight, okay? So that I can work on this side of it. But I ran into some problems because of the presence of the x here and the x here. So what I did is to uh, use the Lambert W function in solving this. And I've made use of the Lambert W function in solving so many um, challenges in this channel. I'm going to leave uh, a link in the description below where you can access some of those um, uh, challenges that has to do with the Lambert W function. All right. So before we go into today's challenge, if you're new here, this is Online Mass TV. I'm here with Learn Mathematics all the time. And my name is Jigs Anemo. Now, without much waste of time, let's go into this challenge and look into how we can evoke the Lambert W function in solving this. Okay, so here yeah, we take our solution. Solution. We put down the question, which is 8x equal to 2 to the power of 2x. Now, again, if you look at this question, you can get the answer to this challenge with ease okay so if i put in one year one year that will not give us the result but if i put in two year two year that will give us the result so at a glance we can get the answer to uh, this challenge which is which is two but how do we solve for that too now if you think that just looking at it you get the answer to um the challenge and so there's no need watching the uh the video clip there you are wrong because you may have another challenge where this may be odd number yet yeah, odd number or the number here yeah, odd number so in that case you cannot get um the actual root with just make guesswork okay so you have to watch this video from the beginning to the end all right now, taking note of all the steps all right so now let's look at this the first thing i did here is to rewrite this left hand side of the equation here i can rewrite this as 8 x is equal to your 2 to the power of 2 bracket there all to the power of x remember the law which says that you have a to the power of m n this is equal to your a to the power of m all to the power of n separating the two exponents okay so i decide to separate the two from the x to give us this now two to the power of two will give us four so we now have this to be eight x is equal to your four to the power of x okay all right from here i want to make the left hand side of the expression to be unity in other words i want to divide through by 4 to the power of x. So if I divide by 4 to the power of x, divide by 4 to the power of x, then what happened? This, this will give us 1, 1, which is equal to 1. And here we are now left with your 8x all over 4 to the power of x equal to your 1. Okay, so let's continue here. Like I said, so long we are having the variable at the base and at the exponents, this will give us a challenge. So all we need to do is to rewrite the denominator. Remember, if we have, if we have, let's assume you have your e to the power of ln of, uh, let's say, x, this will give us what? x. You remember? Why? Because your e, your ln, it's a natural law which is ln base e and here we are having e so this this leaves to give us x here so all we need to do is to rewrite the denominator here in this format so rewriting this this will now give us your 8x 
all over your e to the power of your ln of your 4 or to the power of x. Easy. This is equal to your 1. All right. We want to remove this division sign. And you remember the law of indices. If we are to remove this division sign, then we are going to introduce a minus to the exponent here. So doing this will now give us here your 8x dot your e all to the power of minus your ln of your 4 all to the power of x. This is equal to 1. Okay. Let's quickly divide by 8 here. So if we divide through by 8, divide through by 8, this 8 leaves the system. So here we now have here your x dot your e, this is dot list, your minus ln. Look at this 4 here now. Sorry, the exponent here now. According to the law of we can move this exponent backward here. In other words, it says that if we have log um, uh, k to the power of your p, this is equal to your p log your k. Remember this again? So if we move this backward here, we can equally apply that here. So we move this back this way. And so this will now give us here, automatically we're going to have this to be your minus x, the ln of 4 is equal to your 1 all over 8. Like I said earlier, of, we're going to make use of the lambda w function. And the lambda w function, which is also known as the product log, says that if you have, let's assume you have a star times your e all to the power of a star, and you decide to take the lambda w function, this will give us a star. Here we are having e already. There, here we are having x. But look at the exponent. We are having minus x ln of 4. So we have to make the exponent to be same with the base here before we can evoke the Lambert W function. Okay, so what we do here, all we need to do is to multiply the base or the left-hand side of this expression by minus ln of 4 because that is the difference between this and the base here. So if we have to multiply through by minus ln of 4, this will now give us here a minus your x ln of 4, okay, dot r e to the power of minus x ln of 4 equal to, mind you, we have to multiply this side by minus ln of 4 also. So we have here minus ln of 4 all over your 8. So at this point now, what happened? We cannot introduce our Lambert W function. So let's take another line because of space here. So we're going to have here the Lambert W function of bracket minus x ln of 4. Good. Dot your e minus x ln of 4 close bracket. This is equal to your Lambert W function of bracket minus ln of 4 close bracket all over, let me put this way, please. This is all over your 8. So at this point, because the base here is same here, so we're going to take only the base. So this now implies that your minus x ln of 4 is equal to the Lambert W function of bracket minus ln of 4 all over your 8 in bracket. Easy. So for here, divided through by ln of um, minus ln of 4, we're going to have here will be your minus x ln of 4 all over minus ln of 4 equal to our Lambert W function of your minus ln of 4 all over 8 bracket everything all over ln of uh, 4 okay minus ln of 4 
all right so this goes with this this goes with this so i'm now left with x is equal to minus the lambert w function of your minus your ln of 4 all over 8 close bracket all over your ln of 4 all right wow now let's look at this at this point I solved a particular question where the answer is in this format. And I said you can get your answer, the numerical value of x from here. Now to get the numerical value from here, it is easy. All you need to do is just to plug this into your Wolfram Alpha calculator, either the soft um, copy of it or the hard copy. Then when you do that, it's going to give you a numerical value. And I have done that already. So if you do that, your x will now give us x is equal to your 2. Okay. All right. So let's quickly run a check to see if the 2 actually satisfies this our expression here. So let's take a check, a simple check. The question is 8 into your S, which is now 2 equal to your 2 to the power of 2 into our x is 2. Okay, so 2 times 8 will give us 16 equal to 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. Or you can equally say 2 times 2 will give us uh, 4. So we now have here 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So therefore we now have 16 equal to 16. So this shows that our answer satisfy this exponential challenge. Okay. So thank you, thank you, and this might be end to this uh, simple challenge. And I have solved a similar challenge um, to this question, and it's showing up here now. Okay, you can equally watch that video. Okay, but the figures are different, and uh, they are entirely different. So I will urge you that you watch this um, uh, video also. All right. So this mark an end to this simple exponential challenge using the Lambert W function. I'm going to leave in the description below the link to some of the uh, challenges I've solved so far on this channel using the uh, Lambert W function. Again, if you're new to the channel, this is All I Must TV and my name is Jix Anemo. If you've not subscribed, consider subscribing because at All I Must TV, we release powerful videos all the time for your learning, for your form, for your exams, and for your whatever, for your, for your you know, brain exercise, okay? We are good at what we do. Thanks for always being there. Bye. For now.